Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craft Tastic, and we're going to make a multi pocket folder for A5. In a previous video, I showed you how to make these two pocket folders for your A5 planner or binder. So now we're going to expand on that and make double pockets. I showed you two different ways to do this one with double sided paper and one if you didn't have double sided paper so again we're going to work with paper that is not double sided so let's set this aside and I'll link to the video with those folders in it so if you want to check that out okay so you need to decide what's going to be your base and in this case we're going to add an additional pocket you could add as many as you want I'm just going to add another pocket. I want to decide what I want to be where. I think I want this to be on my bottom piece of my pocket. So I'm going to make this my top pocket area. And again, I have a template here. And let's see, I'm hopefully it won't cut off too much of my flowers. It won't. So I'm going to line this up, mark it and cut it where I want to trim. So I'm just trimming off this bottom piece because this is the height of our folder. I want this these little drippings to show on there and I also want to be able to use this piece for my folder at the bottom. So I'm just going to trim that off. Set that aside for now. Again you can score this or just fold it in half. I'm going to score and fold. I think I need to get that We Are Memory Keepers um, trimmer with the score board attached. I don't know. I've heard people say that the cutter isn't good, but having to flip flop back and forth between score board and paper trimmer is a nuisance. So I'm just folding this in half. So I got my drippings a little on this side. It did cut off just a little bit of the floral, but that's going to be covered up. So this will be my first pocket. And I'm just going to, since this is a smaller piece, I'm not going to worry about scoring it. We're just going to use our scoring tool to give us a good crease. And so this will go like this. So that's our first pocket. Now I want to use this floral paper to make another pocket. Now you have two options here. You can go all the way down with your pocket, with your second pocket. You can just go underneath a little bit here and I think to cut down on the bulk that just going down maybe an inch or half an inch underneath the original pocket is the best option. Um, you have two options as far as how you want to seal your pocket. If you want your pocket to be deep and go all the way to the bottom, then it's probably a better idea to make this pocket go all the way down. If you're going to have it be a shorter pocket and seal it up higher, then there's no need to make the pocket go all the way down. And I'll kind of give you a better idea of what I mean. I just need to decide where I want to trim this. And there's no set measurement. Um, you kind of want it to be balanced. But again, it's really your preference. I mean, even this bottom pocket could be whatever you want. I'm just leaving it because this is what was left over when I trimmed it off. And... The other pockets have about the same amount of depth in the pocket. So I'm going to, let's see, I wonder if I should just make it the same height. I'm going to just make it the same height as this. That's just going to keep things simple. So I'm going to mark it and make it the same height. If you want it to be deeper, then you can, of course, do that. But Let's 
So this is our second pocket. Let me put my scraps away. So again, first pocket. Let's go ahead and fold this one. Second pocket. And you could even go up and do a third if you want it. It just depends on how you space them. So I think that's good spacing there. So this is what the front will look like and then this is the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little mark to show me where I want that pocket to fall. Before I glue everything down. The pockets that are closest to the top should be put in place first. So we're going to start with this one. I think I'm going to put a little mark here just to help me line it up. So if you wanted this pocket not to stop here to come all the way to the bottom, like I said, you would need to cut it that full height. But that's going to give you some bulk down here at the bottom. So I don't know if that's really what you want to do if you need that extra space then go for it I'm just going to add my tape and you can use wet glue for this too I'm just using a tape runner it's a little faster so I'm just going to line this up with the fold and my little marks at the bottom and just wrap it around and press it down so we have that pocket and again if you want to seal it where the hole punch where the holes will be punched you need to do that before you punch the holes and I think this time I'm going to seal it so I'm just going to peel that up a little bit and go in with the tape and seal it. Let's do the other side. I'm going to seal both sides. Okay. So we seal that. Now we're going to add our bottom piece, our bottom pocket. Like so. So you've got like a stair step of pockets and on this one since I'm going to close seal it on the edge where the holes punch I'm just going to go ahead and add my glue there going to line this up with the bottom edge and the fold score tool press everything down get everything working together seal that tape in really well and like when we were working on the other folders this is a, a hair wider than the template but I think it's best to trim it off after you've built the folder then you can trim off all the excess from the pockets and get all of it at once so I'm going to go ahead and trim that off I'm going to use the trimmer that I use for chipboard <laughs> since this is so thick just to trim off a little bit it's like an eighth of an inch
Okay, so there is our folder. We just need to punch our holes and it's ready to go. So I'm just going to use the ruler this time to punch my holes. I've cleaned this out, taken out the older inserts. So we'll be working in this binder for future projects probably. So I'm just going to make sure I got this lined up right. So I've done my, um, made my marks to show me where to punch. Now I'm just going to go in and punch. Okay, so I didn't do the slits because I don't have my scissors, my good scissors in here. So let's put this back. And let's add this folder to the bunch. Let's take these clips out. And voila. So now we have multiple pockets. And you could also do your pockets with acetate or vellum. I would suggest if you use acetate or anything that you can see through to make the pocket go all the way down. Um, but yeah, you're not limited to just paper. So if you have any questions on how to do this or if you have any comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.